All right, our 10th annual Big Bus Toy Express will be hitting the road in just one day. And we will be collecting new unwrapped toys for the Marine Corps Reserve Toys for Tots program. Christy Kruger is on board the Big Bus, and she's joining us live from Pebble Pines to tell us all about this year's effort. I know the party has begun because the beautiful young ladies from the Embrace Girls Foundation are singing Christmas carols here at Vera Cadillac as we are collecting our first batch of toys. Let's listen to them sing here for a second. All right, they're getting us all ready for tomorrow's Big Bus Toy Express. But before we do that, I want you to take a little walk down memory lane and into the Toys for Tots workshop. When the holiday season approaches, so we'll move this right behind that guy right there. The U.S. Marines mobilize for Operation Toys for Tots. Um, I love the kids. I love helping the kids. And I love seeing the looks on kids' faces when we give them the toys. Well, my mom told me that Santa Claus can't come to our house this year. Since 1947, the Marine Corps Reserve has helped hundreds of thousands of children celebrate Christmas. With each passing year, the program expands to more U.S. cities and helps many more children. All of our donation goes back to the community. The South Florida chapter has seen a huge growth spurt. This year, the goal is about 500,000 toys. Um, last year we helped about 126,000 kids, so we can bump that up to maybe 250,000. You know, that way each kid gets about two toys. But 2023 is proving to be a challenge. Our output is not matching our input, um, so we are trying to fulfill and sustain and um, fulfill all the orders, but the input of toys are not coming as relatively fast as we're pushing them out. As we took stock of the Toys for Tots warehouse, we were surprised to see toys in short supply for some age groups, especially newborns and toddlers. Get ready to celebrate a decade of giving back, but with your help, our 10th annual Big Bus Toy Express can turn things around. Since 2014, we've collected nearly 140,000 new unwrapped toys. We're making our way through South Florida Friday, December 8th. This year, we're cranking up the holiday cheer with some new stops and surprises along the way. I like Christmas because everybody's happy. All in an effort to make many more wishes come true. Come and donate a toy, hang out with the Marines, hang out with Channel 10 for a few minutes, and you know, you'll see what, why I get so excited when we talk about the big bus during the holiday season. And right there on your screen, you can uh, scan that QR code. You'll be able to find out what locations uh, you can come and bring that new unwrapped toy to. We will be at nine different locations. Lots of fun surprises at each of those locations. Eric Getsy gets things started in the morning. I'll join him at noon and travel through Broward County. We're already on the bus, though, right now, already beginning to fill up this bus. And Sergeant Emmanuel Martin is with me right now. And look, we've already got some toys. Yes, ma'am, we love it, we love it, and I can't wait to see it packed out tomorrow. It's going to be terrific, and tell me why it's so important this year more than ever. The demand is just so high. Yes, ma'am, the demand is high. Uh, the economy, for various reasons, just so many different things going on in the world, um, and every toy matters, I'm telling you. I've done events where we give these toys to these kids. It can be the simplest thing, the simplest toy. It could be an airplane to a two-year-old, mm -hmm. and their world will change. I promise, every toy matters. Every toy matters. What a great way to say it. So thank you so much. We will see you on the bus tomorrow, yes. and I hope to see you at one of those nine stops tomorrow as well. We get things started at 6 o'clock in the morning. Our 10th year will be the best year. I know it. Right. <laughs> I know, lucky number 10. Put it, yes. put it, putting the pressure on, though, but 10 <laughs> is significant, so we want to kind of just, like, double everything we do usually, yes. right? Yes. Absolutely. I mean, we collect thousands and thousands of toys, and as uh, Sergeant uh, Martin said, every one of those toys matters. And we just want to put smiles on faces this year once again. And I know South Florida will come through. You always do. Yes, they do. We're going to make it happen. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Christy. You